calling all thrill seekers. This may be just the video that helps you find your next adventure, so pay close attention. Do you ever see certain bridges and wonder, how in the world does anybody cross that thing? If you answered yes, well, we've got a lot of those types of bridges right here on this list, and some of them are genuinely terrifying. From supposedly safe steel structures, to sketchy planks that run along cliffs, this is Scariest Bridges in the World. Royal Gorge. This here bridge found in the beautiful mountains of Colorado is a dream for those who like majestic views all while standing 955 feet above solid ground. Well, 955 feet above the water, because the bridge crosses a gorge that the Arkansas River flows within. It's the tallest bridge in the United States and feels like you're tempting fate as you walk across, especially if cars are on it at the same time, considering the wooden planks you stand on shift and flex with the weight of the vehicles. There are various rides at the bridge, including a zip line, gondolas, a sky coaster, and, at certain times of the year, bungee jumping. So there's something for everyone at this terrifying bridge. Bring the family, why don't ya? Kuandan Sky Bridge. Whoa. You can dive right across this bridge if you feel like risking life and limb and vehicle and basically anything else you could risk on a journey across a river. The Kuandan Sky Bridge was initially designed to be a railway bridge and it was to be part of the Baikal Amur mainline, which runs through Russian, Far East, and Eastern Siberia. Unfortunately, it didn't end up being used, so a village nearby with nearly 1,500 villagers began using the bridge to cross the Vitam River. Considering it's not technically considered a functioning vehicle bridge, there have been little to no repairs or modifications done on it in the roughly 30 years it's been in place. So this thing is dangerous, and sometimes heavier vehicles even break through the wood planks the bridge is made of, and drivers themselves have to plug or fix the holes with simple wooden planks to continue their journey across. There have been no recorded fatalities or accidents that are linked with the bridge, and it's thought that's because there are few who actually dare to cross the thing. Sheesh. Sketchy. Kakum National Park. This park offers some truly extraordinary things and is a beautiful place for all to visit and enjoy some one-of-the-kind views and experiences. One such experience is the Canopy Walk in the park, which is one of only three such canopy walks in all of Africa and offers an exceptionally good time. The walkway measures 1,080 feet long and actually connects seven different treetops throughout the forest, providing incredible views from 130 feet in the air. Some parts of the walkway even stretch upwards of 160 feet over the forest. There is netting on either side of the walkway, but they don't make it feel all that much safer. So this is the place to go if you want to feel like you're a step away from the ground below while you're really probably as safe as walking on the earth. Ashima Ohashi Bridge. This thing almost looks like a five-year-old drew it, and then they decided to build it just to see what happened. This crazy bridge can be found in Japan and connects the two cities of Sakimanado and Matsui. It literally looks, from an angle, like you dive up it and then fall right off a cliff. It's built high so that fishing boats can just pass directly underneath, and something to note is that it's not really as steep as it looks. It's roughly a mile long and has a grade of 5.1% on one of its sides and a 6.1% grade on the other, so that's not too bad but you can really only see that when you get there. In pictures, this thing looks absolutely crazy, and that look helped it gain the nickname Roller Coaster Bridge, and you can probably see why. They say it's not sketchy, but we'll believe it when we see it. Titlas Cliff Walk. Ugh. Chills. This pedestrian bridge can be found in the Swiss Alps, cutting along the cliff of Mount Titlis at about 10,000 feet above sea level. This thing is believed to be the suspension bridge at the highest elevation in all of Europe, and broke the record that another bridge in Switzerland, the Selbit Bridge, held. It's only 3 feet wide and measures around 320 feet across, and was opened during a snowstorm back on December 7, 2012. Dignitaries from 15 countries came to see it opened, and had to cross, being able to see only a few feet in front of them. Talk about scary. It is designed to be able to withstand winds of over 120 miles per hour and can handle 450 tons of snow. But the reassurances don't do much to quell the fear in the question of, well, what if this thing breaks? The spokesman for the ski resort that had it built, Titlis Engelberg Ski Resort, says that it's really impossible to fall from the bridge and it's 100% safe. Sure it is, pal. Sure it is. Langkawi Sky Bridge. 
these things just seem to keep getting worse and worse. Who thinks up bridges with this level of danger and fear involved, and then actually goes through with building them? The Langkawi Sky Bridge is a 410 foot long, curved, cable stayed pedestrian bridge found in Malaysia. It's actually quite a beautiful thing, but it also looks like it would be so scary to cross. At the peak of the Gunong Mat Chin Chang on Pulau Langkawi Island, the bridge reaches 2,170 feet above sea level and stretches across the sky at about 410 feet off the ground. It was first opened to the public in 2005 and since then has undergone an upgrade, which happened in 2012 and closed the bridge down for three years. And it finally reopened in February 2015. Sky Glide was also added, which takes you from the top station to the bridge in just two minutes. Fun for everyone. Monkey Bridges. No, these things aren't for monkeys. They're not shaped like monkeys. They really actually don't have anything to do with monkeys. Well, unless you consider having to adopt a monkey-like posture to cross the thing. These bridges are made from bamboo or wood. And they're really sketchy patchwork bridges that form a passageway across streams and other bodies of water. Sometimes they're called bamboo bridges or coconut bridges if they're made of coconut tree. But whatever they're called, they're a bit scary. There are no handrails and can be extremely dangerous and challenging for those who aren't used to using them. They're super common in the Mekong Delta, considering there are lots of streams there, and in places like the Red River Delta, which is found in northern Vietnam. Would you cross one of these wonky looking bridges? We probably would, but we'd probably only do it in a swimsuit. Trift Bridge. What is it about people and heights that gets them going? We don't quite understand. This bridge seems like a perfect combination of safety and danger, making it a good place for thrill seekers who don't actually want to tempt fate, but to visit. The Trift Suspension Bridge was built back in 2004, and once upon a time you could walk across this thing, climb around on the Trift Glacier, and make your way to the Trift Hut on the Swiss Alpine Club, all on foot. But since just a few years back, the glacier has melted too much to do so. The bridge hangs high over Trift Sea, which is a lake in proximity to Gadman, Switzerland, and thousands upon thousands of people visit every year to see Trift Glacier. The bridge had to be replaced in 2009 due to the melting of said glacier. And good thing, because the initial bridge wasn't nearly as reinforced or safe as the one in place today. You can reach it by taking a cable car out of Maringen, then a gondola, then by hiking 1.5 to 2 hours uphill. Is it worth it? It just might be. Husseini Hanging Bridge. Well, this is probably one of the sketchiest looking bridges on this whole list, and it can be found literally hanging above Bort Lake in Hunza, Pakistan. The lake you get to cross while on this scary thing is absolutely beautiful, but the bridge, man, the bridge is so old, dangerous, and terrifying that the views just may not be worth it. It's one of the oldest bridges in Pakistan and is pretty incomplete, meaning that, yeah, You've got planks to walk on and some ropes to hold, but the planks also have massive gaps in between them and are warped beyond belief. The locals from Hunza braved this thing with heavy, huge loads on their backs, so it can't be that bad, can it? Also, people from all over the world go to walk across it just to get some good pictures. Our opinion is that all of these people are crazy and are definitely taking a risk in putting themselves in this kind of danger. Nope, nope, nope. Not for us. Although it does look as though it recently received an upgrade, still nope. East Taihang Glass Walk. Yeah, right. This insane bridge in the Hubei province is probably the last bridge you'll ever dare to walk on. Not because you're going to fall off and not get another chance to walk on a bridge again, but because this thing could induce a heart attack and kill you that way. This bridge cracks beneath your feet, you know. No, not literally, but there are special effects added to this bad boy to make it appear like the glass panels are shattering beneath you. And if that's not reason enough to avoid this thing at all costs, well, you're one brave soul. The bridge is already just 6.5 feet wide and stretches 872 feet. Oh, and it's situated 3,800 feet above sea level. And you look down, way down, to the water and rocks below. Why would anybody want to walk on this thing? Who even came up with an idea like this? Satan, that's who. And we say, no thank you, Satan. Not today. Mount Hua. More like Mount Nope. This is one bridge, walkway, hiking trail that we would probably never have the guts to take on ourselves. The route itself winds up the mountain and has been known as one of the most dangerous hikes in the entire world. If that's not enough to turn you off of this craziness, we don't know what will. This hike features some incredibly scary, incredibly dangerous points, where you literally walk along narrow walkways that fall off thousands of feet into basically nothingness. 
That is, until you make contact with the ground far below. There are points where you can walk along wooden planks that create a pathway roughly a foot wide, and you connect your harness as you go along. If someone is coming in the opposite direction, one of you must unclip your harness, pass each other, then reclip. This place just screams, no way, and we'll probably never visit, but we still felt as though it was best to tell you about it. Was that enough to get your adrenaline pumping? How and why do some of these things even exist? Tell us your thoughts down in the comments. Don't forget to leave us a like, and definitely don't forget to subscribe to our channel. We mean, you don't want to miss out on the great content we put out two times a week, do you? See all you guys and gals next time.